Hey, man, fish. It's the 5th of October, 2018, and I probably wouldn't even be making this video if I hadn't just recently seen a video that was talking about the guillotines in Georgia. Now, that's not something that I've followed. Uh, I've known about it and heard about it. But I've never researched it, never really looked into it. Um, but it does match up with uh, scripture, and it does, you know, kind of uh, fit the times, if you know what I mean. Um, they found at least 10, could be more, but at least 10 decapitated goats floating in a river in Atlanta. Okay? Now, this is really interesting because, like I say, if I hadn't just had that freshly put in my mind about these guillotines that everybody was talking about quite a while back, but it's still out there, you know? And there was legislation in Georgia, you know, regarding to provide death by guillotine, and I don't have any, you know, purchase orders that I could bring up for you by the government or anything like that, but supposedly there are... uh 15 or 30,000 guillotines uh, that were purchased and are just sitting in warehouses waiting to be used. And that doesn't, that wouldn't surprise me at all because it's very clear that that's what happens in the tribulation. When the mark of the beast is implemented, when it's like you either take this mark or die, basically, uh, this is how they will kill those who refuse to take the mark and die for the witness of Jesus. And that's very unfortunate. I don't want to die that way, but I believe that this is uh, giving a little bit of a warning here. Okay? I, I firmly believe that our Father in Heaven will pull His people who are diligently seeking Him out of danger, out of these horrors. He, he's not going to force his children who seek him daily and nightly always he's not going to put them through tribulation this is the whole um you know rapture uh you know taken out of the way i don't know what happens but i do know in my spirit he's telling me just continue to seek my face trust in what what jesus did what my son did Okay, and know that you are sealed and in my hand, and I will protect you. You know, just like Psalm 91, I am abiding in the secret place of the Most High. You know what I mean? So I believe this is, just, you know, this is how I'm receiving this. They are practicing with their guillotines. I have no idea if they were clean cuts because they aren't able to pull the animals from the river, according to this article. But this guy who's been working the river for 11 years said he was personally disturbed by the discovery. Okay? And yes, there are some religions who sacrifice animals in this manner. Uh, but, you know, even if it is just that, I mean, isn't that enough? Uh, that we got people uh, decapitating ten goats at a whack? I don't think so. I think we might actually be seeing the manifestation, a warning, if you will. I, I could definitely could take it as a warning that this is what's coming. Okay? I'm just telling you. So... You pray that you're worthy. You, you simply stay connected to God. I mean, all the time. I'm serious. And, and I'm telling you what. He will keep you from that hour of temptation, from that horror. I just, I personally believe that. 100%. So, you can believe what you like, I guess. But, you know, why did they, uh, pass this legislation and and apparently there are documentation purchase orders and whatnot that prove this but like i said i think that the manifestation of the very event here in and of itself is simply 
that uh, supernatural type of uh, messaging system <laughs> that our father uses. That's it's just the way it is. And this is a warning. That's the way that my spirit's getting it. So that's basically what I'm putting it out as. And all it really means is, you know, cleave to Jesus. Be in his shadow always because, like, these things will come very suddenly. And, you know, even those of us who are very secure in the Lord uh, can be taken by surprise by events in this world that cause us to not think clearly and not react properly and not seek the counsel of God when we make decisions under pressure. So just be ready. Just be praying all the time. That's really all it boils down to, you know. So just wanted to share that with you. I thought it was very bizarre that this is all over the place. Come out on 10-4-2018. And there's a bunch of other stuff that I want to share with you here, but I got to go. So y'all have a wonderful day. Uh, peace and grace to you. Seek Jesus and fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 